What's up everybody, Ari here again and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you or showing you how to basically blend two pictures together. Um, so let's start the Photoshop and say you already have two pictures that you want to blend one picture to another and I already have two files prepared and I'll just show you them in a second. Let it load um, real quick. Alrighty, let's see. The first thing we're gonna nah. Well, let me show you all the pictures I'm gonna be using. So as for the background, um, I'll be using this. I'm I'm gonna be basically um, blending Mila Kunis's face, I guess, um, to this um, picture to this layer. So we're gonna open this in the Photoshop because this is gonna be our main background layer. Um, open with. Photoshop okay, We're gonna unlock it and rename it to BG or background whatever you want to call it Then we're gonna create a new layer um, And then we're gonna open our different picture that we're gonna be blending with the first one with the background in Photoshop And this is the Mila Kunis if nobody knows So we're gonna do is we're gonna basically copy the whole picture by holding Ctrl and A to select everything and then copy or Ctrl C. I'm gonna go back to our original um, layer where we're gonna be working at or we're gonna be working at and we're gonna paste it by edit paste or Ctrl V. Oh shit it's pretty big. Okay now we're gonna resize the picture because this is too big as you can see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold Control or Control and press T. Now hold left shift and just resize it to the size you wanna kind of have it in the picture. Maybe something like this. Let's zoom it in over here, I guess. I guess. Enter. Okay, now we need to get rid of this blue shit, right? First thing we can try. It might not really work with everything. It usually works with the black background, but we can still we can still try is by go to blending options, and I believe it's overlay. Didn't really work. Maybe we could try screen. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, let's go back to normal. Uh, what we're gonna do is basically we have to erase this. Um, blue shit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this magic wand tool, wand, whatever it is, and then press on the space we're gonna get rid of. Let me see actually if we can play with the settings a little bit. We're gonna right click on the mouse. Okay, I didn't really do that much. I think these guys kind of play a decent role in what are you selecting. And then there is of course the tolerance. Let's really do shit. Okay, we're just gonna select this and press delete. This side, delete. More. It's kind of you see, it kind of does it for you, which is kind of good. There might be little marks, but that's fine. We can get a rid of them later. Uh, try to do as much as we can using this tool. Oh, shit, no way. Uh, we can also try using the eraser itself. Harness, let's put it like on 40 maybe. You usually um, try not to use the eraser itself because it's kind of hard and it's manual labor really. Usually the computer do the most of the job. Or the wand tool, whatever. Okay, well now we kind of did it. We can try the overlay again. Fuck, let's just try it. Let's go go through them and see which one will work better. Lighting kind of looks cool. Kinda. Weird. Let's go back to overlay. I mean screen. 
kind of move her a little bit and uh, let's see I'm clean it up clean it up a little bit more let's use a different type of brush that will make any any difference your hardness huh we kind of can go on the little edges as you can see how I'm doing it right now this is kind of transparent nobody really gonna see a bigger difference anyway so it's kind of cool alrighty now we're gonna reposition her again uh, kind of work on the edges a little bit more I think that's kind of cool I mean looks decent we can maybe change the opacity to a bit lower I mean whatever you like and that's basically it you probably can ch play around with them um, brightness of the picture see what you like and kind of go from there you know but of course it, it kind of matters what kind of picture you're gonna use in the first place don't worry about that we did it we don't, doesn't really matter because we just shifted everything but yeah that's basically it thanks for watching if you have any questions or whatsoever let me know that's basically the basics of blending two pictures together this is basically the easiest way because we're using um, opacity level, we're doing the screening, it's different, you know. But when you merge two pictures together and you want to keep the higher quality, it's a bit harder job. But I'll try to do that in the next tutorial. Thanks again for watching. Um, like and share. And of course, subscribe for more. See you later, guys.